Volkswagen has officially unveiled the new Tiguan, now in its third generation. The German model gets a completely new interior and PHEV engines with an electric range of 100 km. The exterior design is familiar, but with touches that evoke the ID.4 EV, particularly the closed-off upper grille. The model rides on the MQB EVO platform with front-wheel drive as standard and all-wheel drive as an option. At least in Europe, VW introduces quite a few new powertrain options. The choices for the US are still a mystery. The third-generation Volkswagen Tiguan has been officially revealed, shortly after we were trying to get used to the Passat's design. If we look at it from the front, we would be tempted to confuse it with the Volkswagen ID.4, its electric brother, but it is clear that the similarities are due to the new Volkswagen design language, inspired by electric models. We have an LED strip that joins both the front light blocks and the tail lights. Also, on the style versions we will have chrome inserts in the lower grille, and on the R-Line equipment we will have a diamond look grille. When it comes to dimensions, the Tiguan boasts the same wheelbase, i.e. 2,681mm, but through unknown artifice it manages to offer an extra centimeter for the knees of the rear passengers, and another 33 liters in the trunk, where the total capacity reaches 648 liters. There are two plug-in hybrid options, with total outputs of 201 horsepower, 150 kilowatts, or 268 horsepower, 200 kilowatts. These models also use a 19.7 kilowatt-hour battery that can provide an electric-only range as high as 62 miles, 100 kilometers. The AC charger now supports 11 kilowatts, and the car can accept up to 50 kilowatts when connected to a DC fast charger. There are also mild hybrid equipped choices. The turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder hooks up to a 48 volt lithium ion battery and 48 volt starter generator. Cylinder deactivation can let the engine run on two pistons. The third gen Tiguan also offers a turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder, making either 201 horsepower, 150 kilowatts, or 262 horsepower, 195 kilowatts. Two FEV engines with a range of 100 kilometers. Developed on the MQB Evo platform, the new Tiguan has front and all wheel drive, as well as electrified engines. Customers will now receive two new plug-in hybrid solutions. One offers 201 horsepower, and the top one has 272 horsepower. Both versions have a 19.7 kWh lithium-ion battery, capable of guaranteeing a purely electric range of 100 km. Additionally, the car's charging power has been drastically revised. Now, from an AC outlet, the Tiguan draws 11 kilowatts. Moreover, there is also the possibility of charging from a fast socket, DC, from which it can draw a maximum of 50 kilowatt. The PHEV versions use a 1.5-liter gasoline engine and a 115-horsepower electric engine, assisted by an 8-speed DCT transmission. Those who don't want a PHEV can already choose the classic 1.5-litre TSI engine, connected to a 48V mild hybrid system with cylinder deactivation function. It offers 130 or 150 horsepower and is mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. There are also more powerful gasoline engines, i.e. 2.0 TSI of 201 and 265 horsepower. And, to the surprise of some, the Tiguan still retains diesel options. The classic 2.0 TDI can guarantee 150 or 190 horsepower. A completely new interior. Important changes inside, where Volkswagen had not walked for many years. Although it promised a return to physical buttons, Volkswagen continues to offer a huge screen, perched on the dashboard, at the base of which there are touch surfaces, to facilitate operation. Fortunately, now, unlike the other older models in the range, this touch bar for operation is backlit. Also fortunately, on the steering wheel we return to physical buttons. 
One important change is moving the transmission lever behind the steering wheel, which frees up a lot of space on the center console. Specifically, it frees up space for a set of physical controls dedicated to the multimedia system and an induction charging area. Regarding changes to the chassis, Volkswagen informs us that, regardless of the version chosen, important changes have been made to reduce vibrations. Optionally, customers can order a new version of the adaptive damper system, which delivers greatly improved sports or comfort experiences. The new Volkswagen Tiguan will arrive in European showrooms early next year. Most likely, its starting price will approach the value of 35,000 euros.